What's up guys? Welcome to your 11th Android app development tutorial. This is again Shrix from Smarthood. In this tutorial, I will talk you about Logcat. Now, from the 11th tutorial itself, our journey of making your complex applications begins. Till now, I bombarded you with lots of introduction tutorials. It's time for action. Now, what is Logcat all about? Suppose you are running your application and your program crashes, unfortunately, then the logcat is going to help you to debug the output by collecting and viewing all the messages that your emulator throws. So this is a very useful component for the app development purpose. Because this logcat dumps a lot of system messages and these messages are actually thrown by the emulator. Now what does that mean? This means when you run your app in your emulator then you will see a lots of messages which includes all the information, all the verbose messages, all the errors that you are getting in your application and the other stuffs which I am just going to talk about. Now, yes the message contains the errors and lots of other messages printed from our application, quite simple. Suppose you make an application of about 1000 line codes. So in that 1000 line codes, how you are going to detect your error if your program crashes. In that case, Logcat helps you a lot to find your error message. To find your error in which module or in which method you are having the error, you can find it out very very easily within a minute or two with the help of this Logcat. Now the Logcat prints the error using a log class. The class which is used to print the log messages is actually known as the log itself. So this log class is actually responsible to print messages in the logcat terminal. Now let's move forward. Now there are lots of methods that are present in our log classes. So what are they? First is a verbose method, second is a debug, third information, fourth warning and fifth the error method. Now all these methods actually contain the two parameters that is first is the string and the second is the string itself. Now similarly in debug information warning error all contains the two parameters string 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 like this all these things this is actually the method. Now here I have presented all these verbose debug information warning error with a color. Now when you print the log messages using these methods then you will get corresponding color of the messages using the corresponding methods. Now if you are using the verbose method then the output will be printed in the black color. If you are using the i method that is information then the output will be printed in the green color and so on. One more thing here guys, the verbose is of very lesser priority and the error is very higher priority. So the priority level increases like this from verbose to error like this. Now, now the question arises what is the syntax of writing the codes using these methods of log class. Now you can simply print your message by using log.v first parameter as string between the inverted comma and the second parameter is again string followed by a semicolon. Similarly log.d, log.i, log.w and log.e. All these syntax are all same only each time one letter is replaced by the corresponding methods debug information warning then error like this. Now the first column that you can see here is actually the tag that you have to write. This means in the first column the first column appears under the tag column and the second column of string appears under the message column. This is just to guide you guys that in this column it is recommended to write the tag. Suppose we are having this log statement inside our main activity. So under this tag just write main activity and under the message just type we are inside the main activity like this you will get the output. Now guys if you're not getting the stuffs right now don't worry about it in the next tutorial I'm just showing you the practical demonstration in the eclipse of the log cat. So don't worry about it guys, catch you guys in next tutorial, stay tuned, this is Shrakes from Smarthood, signing off.